again, he talks about his young team and how uh, his team seems that they're having fun together. And I'm, I'm not saying this because uh, uh, they lost, uh, you know, their main player in Kawhi, but it does seem like guys are embracing DeMar DeRozan. You can see after the game how they went up to him. They, you know, mm -hmm. I used to love Zeke. I know you probably love this. When you went to Chicago, I know your team played for you. The same when I oh, went yeah. to home to Detroit, it's like my boys better come for me. And it seems like they did that for DeMar in California tonight, getting a good tough win for a young team. Yeah, and, and, I, and I also think Popovich is enjoying this new challenge. Mm. You know, he, he's had the same group of guys, you know, back to Duncan and Robinson, Ginobili and Parker and, and, and everything else. And, and this is like a new group. So this is like, a, I think, a new challenge for him. And I, and, I, and I sense that, you know, there's a new learning curve for him just in terms of learning his team, learning his players, trying different things. So, you know, this is... A lot of times the coaches need a little challenge too. Mm. They, need, they need a little pick me up. They need a little something different. And I think this team is probably going to inspire a little something different out of him. That and makes a lot of sense because I was wondering what got into Coach Doc Rivers last year. You know, he had lost Blake, he had lost Chris Paul, and, and he was like, I'm excited. And he, yeah. it wasn't about the other guys, but yeah, as a coach, you're a competitor too. And it's almost like I got a new team, and I, ne I never thought of it, I never thought yeah. of it that way. Yeah, and, and K Mac, uh, what do you see on the side as far as this Spurs, if we stay on this side, as far as them keep going? I mean, you always talk about the big man running for others and how it keeps him involved and how to come out and play aggressively well this team is not one of the best running teams no but they are a, a deliberate mid-range team and, and you coach well let's talk about you play you played in the era where you stayed close to the bucket and and it was a fist fight and no blood you still might even if it was blood you still might not get a foul <laughs> yeah. all the way to coaching one of the fastest teams in, in this league what what do you think is so special about this core of San Antonio. What do you think they can do and what you've been seeing? You know, their so two main players are mid range players, but they got a ton of three point shooters. I mean, they got guys, you know, Bellinelli came back yeah. home, can knock it down, Mills knock it down. You know, Gaze turned himself into a nice three point shooter, knocks it down. So they've got a lot of three point shooters, but we talked about it a little bit earlier. Boy, when you get the ball at the elbow, you're one dribble. From, yeah. from laying it in. Yeah. You, you put a lot of pressure with one dribble. You know, one dribble from the three-point line, unless you're on the Kumpo. Oh, yeah. You're not getting, you're not, <laughs> you're not getting in there. You're in, you're in right. a two- or three-dribble area to, you know, to attack the basket. The defense has a chance to move over and collapse. But you, know, you get fouled a lot in that mid-range. So they have a nice blend of ball movement, body movement, mid-range guys, and then three-point shooters. I mean, Pops finds a way to just get the most out of his team all the time. And we were talking a little bit off air. You know, DeRozan had a shot to win the game. Marcus Aldridge had a couple of shots. Yeah. He went like, okay, you guys had your run. Patty, let's win this game yeah. and go home. And it's nice when you see them running plays to win games for other guys. And uh, he knocked it down for them. And, Mac, you know what else is interesting? Like, you look at the league now, and it's so full of three-point shooters yeah. and three-point defenders. There's not a lot of mid-range no, defenders in the that. game. So yeah. when you run in little simple pin downs or dribble handoffs, Patty Mills comes off for a wide open, you know, game winner yeah. because people aren't used to defending in no. the mid-range. Now, if there was a three-point shot, you know, a guy would be all over him because they know how to defend the three-point line. But mid-range play right now and post-play, people don't know how to defend that in the NBA right now.